Now I may need to do some editing in my drawing and I can see that this hole needs to be over here on this end, the circle. Um, I could erase it and redraw it, but one of my cardinal rules of CAD is never draw anything twice. So if it's already drawn, I could just move it. So from my Home tab on my Modify Tools, I can use my Move command. When I use a Modify Tool, the first thing it wants me to do is select objects. I can pick them. I'll pick the circle. But I also want to move these dimensions along with it, so I'll choose the dimensions also. When I'm done selecting objects, I'll hit enter on the keyboard. And now it wants a base point of displacement. That's the point, or the handle, that I will use for moving my object. I'll use an object snap to the center of my circle. And I'm going to turn ortho on because I can use direct distance entry in moving my circle also. I'm going to say, after I've stretched this in this direction, I'm going to say 2 from the keyboard as my distance of displacement, and I have moved that circle. Another way that I can use my move command or some of my modify commands is by selecting the object so that its grips light up, and then right-clicking the mouse for my pop-up menu, and I have some of my modify commands right here. So let's choose move. It wants me to specify the base point of displacement again. So again, I will zero in and choose the center of the center marks. And this time, I'm moving down to place it in the correct location at this end. So I would move this down four units. And now I have placed that hole in its correct location. Zooming in, I can see that now part of my dimensions are no longer in the right place. So I will use grip, grip editing to change the location of my dimensions. I'll click on the number and this seems to be locked moving only horizontal. That's because my ortho mode is turned on. I'm going to turn that off and now I can choose where I would like that dimension to go. I can use Escape to turn off the grips. I need to add another feature to my, to my object. There are parallel lines along these two edges. I'll use an offset command. Offset allows me to copy a line parallel at an offset distance. So when I activate the offset command, it asks me to specify the offset distance. In this case, it's going to be 0.125 and I'll hit enter. Now with my offset set to that distance I can click on a line and then I'm going to go to the side where I want the offset copy to show up and click the mouse. This line on this side, this line on this side, this line on this side. Oops, I missed. To end the command I'll hit enter. I can see here that I have some lines that need to be trimmed and in this corner I have lines that need to be extended. On my Modify tool panel I have a flyout for Trim and Extend. I'll start with Trim. When I choose Trim or Extend it wants me to select Cutting Edges. Cutting Edges are going to be the lines that will cut when I'm trimming. So when I've chosen these two lines, I'm going to hit enter. And now I can trim. So I click on this small end of the line and you notice that it's trimmed back to that cutting edge. Click on this part of the line and it's trimmed back to that cutting edge. I'll hit enter to end that command. I'm going to use my extend command to extend these lines. Now when I'm extending it asks me to choose a boundary. I'm going to choose these two lines as my boundary. Hit enter and extend this line and extend this line. Hit enter to end the command. One more time I'll go back and trim and I want to use these two lines as my cutting edges and trim these off. 
I'll do a zoom all to look at my object again. Now I need to add one more dimension. Now that I have these offset lines, I need to add a dimension for that offset distance. I'm going to get a linear dimension and I want it between these two lines. I'll zoom in and I'm going to choose this corner and notice I have my perpendicular O snap will light up and click on this side. Now this dimension I would like to show up away from the corner and I don't want these lines underneath my regular line so I'm going to move those points of my dimension. And then the last thing is I see that this is in two decimal places as with my dimension style but I need to make a note and embed it in this dimension. So in my quick properties here I have a text override and very rarely but occasionally we need to use a text override. So in this case I want to say that this is 0 0.125 and I'm going to put TYP for typical so that someone will know that all of these offset distances are 0.125 and then I'll hit escape to apply that. Zoom all to look at my drawing and at this time I'm finished.